Hey everyone, thanks for checking in. I'm Buff Lobster here and we're back with some more Deadly Tower of Monsters. I forgot the, the, the start there, but you get the idea. And um, we're carrying on straight from where we left off. Ascending this quite annoying uh, section of the tower. Okay, let's take out these guys. I'm getting hit far too much. Maybe it's the morning star. It's not really working for me. It is? Okay. I hate these enemies from below. It can be a pain. Spin. Yep. Take out these slippery gits. Set the pterodactyl down. No, he's got a shadow. Can't have a shadow. That's it. Dead dinosaurs have no shadows. Take you out. I'm gonna wind up for you two. You sacks. I think it's the other chance. I'm not making a lot of ground here. I think I need two gold cogs for my next decent upgrade, so we need to keep an eye out for one of them. I've got another weapon here, they're coming thick and fast. Spaceship. Now we're talking. Um, get the checkpoint. The space shiv is something I'll definitely be interested in. Right. Let's have a look at that. It's already equipped, so... Oh, you got it here? I guess I'm going to get real close to him. Also, there's got to be some loot around here. No, I guess there hasn't got to be. Let's upgrade. No longer a shiv. Psionic dagger, okay. Yeah, I'm on it. Crystal shard, sounds cool. Hey, why not? Eh? I'll take it. That's looking cool, I like it. Too bad we didn't get to use you in your shiv form, but it's my choice. Oh, poor guys didn't turn the turn the lever incredibly slowly. Funny story about the two caged apes in this scene. I had completely forgotten about I want you up there. Up not you. Set. You. Then we spent the next day doing a location shoot. So suffice it to say. Our return to the studio Sorry, director. I'm going to carry on. Feel free to keep on talking, though. You're more eloquent than me, that's for sure. Break the pot. Right, we want some of this shiv. Are you running away from it? Okay, some hot logs aren't going to get the better of me. Not again, anyway. Okay. Get to the top for the lugs drop. Hey Patrick, I was thinking we should we go. Get a break and get a bite to eat. You like Chinese? I know a great takeout. Well, we're not scheduled for I'm feeling a boss fight soon, I don't know why. Getting that idea. We're getting high. Getting so high right now. Can I not get you? Can I jump on the pot? But I can jump on you. Oh man, I can't jump on anything. I'll do it like getting two at a time. And killing two enemies is quite good as well. Right, you big squid, take that. I'll see you, do my guy. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Luckily, I got that Prince of Persia shit going on, so I can just rewind right back up. Two squids. Oh no. Let's use my false blast. Okay, that works. Cheers. Thank you, premature explosion. Wow. 
Night Proton. Is it worth getting gold? I suppose it is always worth getting gold. I haven't struggled for money yet. This is like a boss arena. There we go. I play too many games. Come on, come towards it. Free. Okay. I will get that. Dead on time. One of these days. But still, knowing that we still have fans like this promoting the film. One, two, oh, so close. Are you nearly dead, man? There you go. Enemies coming from below. Oh no. Let's make these guys more extinct. Is that it? Or the other side? We'll get to the other side. Probably. Yes. Get off. Get off. Looks like he's about to hug me. Which I can imagine is not a good idea. I hope you get in that greenhouse. Will you take me there? You're locked right now. Okay, where are you going to take me? <gasps> is that a gold cog? Hey, why'd you do that? Okay, it doesn't like that. She begs the question, where do I go? I've got to kill you. Okay, if I kill you, yeah, then the gate drops. Okay, game. I've got you. Right, we got the uh, couple of U-sex. Oh no. One. Whoa, you getting quicker and quicker. I don't know if that's meant to happen. I wonder if rolling... Yeah, we can Zelda this crap. Okay, some cool dodges there. Looking the part. Upgrade time, yeah? How do I uh, get more? Want more? Okay. Do I do missions? I better do missions. Challenges. These stations really annoy me. There's not like a button to um, enter them, it just does it automatically. So I'll go there and just out of habit, I'm like hitting B and dodging into the fucking thing. Right, rescue dick from Gorilla. Yeah, I read that. Fly through 20 hoops. Got eight more, I think. Conquer the nuclear ant hive. I reckon I missed that at the bottom. Okay, give it time. We'll get there. I don't really believe that. That's just something you say. Blue cog me, baby. Okay, some upgrades. A revolver. Mm hmm. Oh man, I got no cogs. Cogless. Okay. Yeah, we haven't got the more star anymore. That thing was a bit shitty. Right, so we need cogs if we want to improve. If we want to become. Stop being Michael Cogless and be David Cogglefield. Okay, yeah. Cool. <gasps> Ants and eggs, that's what the challenge said. Where was that there? Okay, where that arrow is pointing me, right?
I can't remember, can I teleport? Was it from the checkpoint marker that I can move between checkpoints I've found? Or have I just got a uh, Geronimo this stuff? Yeah, teleport. Ape Island South, yeah, and to the right is the egg. Egg? The ant place. I remember a bridge being up here on the right, actually. Alright, you're gonna warn me not to go in there, aren't you? Okay, let me pass. Cheers. So, do we get any backstory on Dick? Why'd he travel to Gravoria in the first place? Did he do any research before landing there? Did he have a specific. Don't worry about backstory. Patrick, Patrick, if you keep getting bogged down by the details, how will you ever learn to just sit back and appreciate the work of art for what it is? Flame for a... Okay. Let's fry some ants. Wow, that is incredibly effective. And the ammo just recharges. Oh, Ants, you haven't got a chance. What did that cha challenge say? Destroy the hive? The nest? Maybe it'll be something I have to do. Who knows? I'll keep an eye out for anything destroyable. Apart from every single ant, woman, and child on this little island here, I guess. Robot's body. What in the cosmos? It's my co-pilot's body. I, I believe that I can repair it. My man. Ugh. Oh no! I am trapped. <laughs> that flying ant's got a bigger brain than Dick. Master Dick. Master Dick. Oh, do we get to play as the robot? Yeah! This is like a nerdy bender. I like him. A witchy grub? I say a lot of words wrong. I don't think you say it like that. But you know what I mean. A witchy grub. Okay. I'm not going to try that again. So, let's figure out what this tuning fork does. It chains together somehow. I can't figure out how. God, I wish I had that flamethrower. Hey, you little shits. Take the health. You need it. Nice roll. Oh, you do a nice roll. Quite limber for a robot. The best way to go. Okay, maybe it's the strong attack which shocks him. But not every time. There must be some sort of chance of it. Okay, you got a jetpack. Can I go out here? No, okay. Time to decimate some more ant. Wait, I've had the flamethrower this whole time. Well, I am an idiot. Now these ants are gonna burn. Baby ants. They don't bother me, I'll burn them all. I hope no one can hear me right now. It sound pretty crazy. Yeah, you must need the flamethrower for all these guys. Okay, you might get my fork. Thought the flames were bad. Try this prong. Okay, I've got fire back. Yep. Try this prong for size. Take that. Like 
I will not apologise for them terrible puns either. What do you do? Okay, you're not going to be good to walk over. I know that. Ooh. It's the Ghostbusters blob thing. Slime, whatever his name is. Or is it Bill Murray? I can't remember. Come on, die. Maybe I could premature expl- Ooh, what is this? This is not my landmine. Nice. I like this guy. I think I like him better than Dick Starspeed. We got a choice. I'm taking you, robot. Calling it now. Let Dick get eaten by the ants, I don't, I don't care. Sorry, I'm quite fickle when it comes to playable characters. What have we got here? Upgrades? Alright, so we've got some new stuff to upgrade now. Main one being this guy. But he don't come cheap. We've got enough blue cogs. We need silver and gold. One silver, two gold. Okay, we'll have a work cut out. We can do it. Oh, do the enemies respawn after I come out of the station? Because that is annoying if they do. Can't go around here. Can I burn this slime off? No. Okay, then we go round. And don't bother me, I'll go round. And I'll take that silver cog, which gives us enough. Is that silver? I can't remember. It must be. What does this one do? Okay, that's the false blast, I think. Yeah, it is silver. Okay, so we've got one extra now. Well, I was reckoning that slime around the gate was until I killed all the enemies, one of them annoying obstructions. Okay, I'm backtracking. Kill you. Yeah, it's all gone. Up we go, robot. Keep your eyes peeled for gold. What will you do? No, you do nothing. <laughs> Dick reminds me of Woody from Toy Story when he's playing as if he's an inanimate object. I will strike down upon you with great vengeance and furious anger. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is actually a bit tricky here. Yeah. I should have uh, equipped Sparky as another weapon. I didn't think, and I never do. It'd be good if the fire hurts him. Not sure if it does. Okay, just don't run into the fire, robot. Pyro Shepherd, okay, that's one I need to keep an eye on. So I can get. Oh robot, you're alright! And you saved the day. I sure did. Looks like the Emperor's days are numbered. At long last, we have assembled our team. Hey -o. A lot of reviewers and fans too always wondered. Why we shot so few scenes with all three heroes in it together. I mean, we did our best to explain it. Something about the sleep chambers or staying back to protect the ape village. Really, it was just logistics. Jonathan had bowling league on Tuesdays and Okay, Derek, so I get it. And Stacy had her karate Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Honestly, I should jump down now, shouldn't I? Because that means I can get <laughs> you in some religion. Oh wait, there's nothing there. Did I go all the way around? Sundays. I'm still a little skeptical about that one though. Certain 
It's just a guy in a suit. Could you have gotten just about right, let's jump on here. See? That's why you'd make a horrible director, Patrick. His touches were subtle. Hmm, I wonder where I go. But he really brought a lot of character to the robot role. Okay, instead of watching me wander around this platform aimlessly, we're going to call the episode there. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you can hear me over this director here, but I'll adjust the sound levels, I guess. He's a lot more interesting than me. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please let me know if you enjoyed the video with a like or a subscribe, or leave a comment, or reach out to me on Twitter, anything like that, and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time for some more The Deadly Tower of Monsters.